Hey, everybody. Thank you for having me and allowing me to speak today. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, this is all new for me. This is a, this is a new venture in, in politics, so um, it's really neat to, to come in here and see all you wonderful people and uh, how excited everyone is. And thank you for the work that you've done on getting these new maps, right? I, I've been thinking about running for this, this seat for quite some time, several different cycles. Um, and was going to do it anyway, but definitely these maps are, are definitely going to make it easier for, uh, for to turn this seat blue, so thank you. Um, just a little bit of history about the 96th seat. From, from the best information that I can find, this seat has been held by a Republican since 1952. Um, yeah, 73 years of, of this, this being read. Um, so this is pre-maps, all of those things, but we, uh, we are in a good position to, to turn that over. As I've, as I've gone through this process, um, there's usually two questions that people like to ask, right? First of all, um, why are you running? And some people, I think, they, they want to know your platform. They want to know what you stand for. I think other people just want to decide how crazy this person actually is, right? That, that's willing to get into politics and willing to, to, to do these things. Um, and I had that, that question posed to me uh, by, by someone who's been a very valuable part of my campaign. And it's, it's very interesting because she did this kind of at the beginning of all this. And I, I do nightly readings every night. and, and the very night that she asked me that question, um, this was the reading. So um, I have charity, another word for love. It's the kind of love that is not selfish passion, but an unselfish outgoing desire to help other people, to do what is best for the other person, to do what is best for him or her above my own desires. To put God first, the other person second, and myself last. Charity is gentle, kind, understanding, long-suffering, long and full of desire to serve. What I do for myself is lost. What I do for others may be written somewhere in eternity. So for me, that, that's why I'm running. Right? I've, I've been very fortunate in my life um, to, to get to the point in, in life that I'm at. Uh, the second thing that people ask is, so why a Democrat? Why are you running as a Democrat? Um, other than duh, I mean, I, I think that's, that's that, you know, but I, I really, I thought long and hard about this. I, 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 but other than duh, the other easy explanation that I came up with um, was that I'm a product of, of democratic ideals. Right? I, uh, I grew up as a poor kid in a trailer court on the south side of Viroqua. Um, I ate government cheese and I ate... Uh, ketchup and Miracle Whip sandwiches and, and, and all those types of things, which are actually pretty good if you <laughs> never. Um, I had, uh, I'd come home and, and uh, there would be the Toys for Tots that were, that were on the, uh, the steps because back then they didn't do the brand new toys and the fancy, fancy things. They would, they would dump a box of used toys on your doorstep. Um, but that was, uh, to me, still, still that, that exciting. I grew up wearing the medical assistance glasses that were way too big for my face, um, that only a mother could love. Uh, but, they, uh, but they allowed me to see, right? Which I couldn't have done otherwise. I received Pell Grants while attending UW-La Crosse. So why am I running as a Democrat? So I am the person that I am because of a democratic ideal of caring for our citizens. Right? for taking care of people, offering help to people that might need help. Um, because of the assistance I received, I have built an amazing life for myself. I have started and operate two businesses in the 96th district. I have taken that and other democratic ideals and put them into action in my life. I, have uh, I am now ready to take those ideals to Madison and share them with the constituents of the 96th district. I believe my lifelong involvement in the communities of our district gives me an excellent uh, perspective to understand our area's issues and concerns. A quote that has really been important to me in my life um, is from Gandhi, just the very simple, be the change you wish to see in the world. And, and that's what I'm looking to do. Um, and we have work to do. When my, when my young daughter, who's nine years old, has fewer rights to make decisions for her body, um, than her mother did or her grandmother did, we have work to do. 
when people are one severe illness away from being kicked out of their home or, or whatever that may be because they can't afford um, to pay for these things, we have work to do. We have a housing crisis, childcare crisis, all of these issues that, that need, to be, need to be addressed. Um, and to me, that's Democrat, right? That's, that's a Democratic ideal of taking care of people. I see you over there creeping in. <laughs> we still have work to do, okay? And I am here for it. I am here for it. I am in it. I am ready. I am here to fight for those who need a voice. I am here to share the blessings I've received and to give back to the world that has given me so much. I hope you'll help me. Thank you. Thank you.